All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakah Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabad from GMS Heaviana 144. GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp. Just coming back with a quick video through the power of the Spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. And um, just starting this video off, because what prompted this video, um, me and one of the uh, the Akim, me and one of the Akim from um, the, the North Carolina Charlotte Camp, the brother uh, Yawam, uh, you know, we've been uh, rapping a little bit more through the Spirit. This week, uh, just touching bases on the uh, Paleo Hebrew, you know that that brother's, um, you know, very uh, fluent and it's getting real nice in that Hebrew, and you know what I mean, and that's why you gotta love the ministry and why why you gotta love the brotherhood, you know. So, you know that that brother has been learning from the from the uh, the elder Monagon and uh, other brothers that are uh, fluent in the Hebrew as well, and you know, this is what the body is for, man. So you know. Uh, the, the long story short, because as I said, I'm um, just kind of reminiscing because, um, as I said, it was a, a Yapa week uh, from uh, speaking with that brother, man. And, and I'm sure brothers can relate. Whenever you talk to a brother, it, it lifts your spirits up. But uh, nevertheless, when me and that brother was uh, rapping this week, um, we got we touched bases on, uh, on on Judges 5 and 11 when it goes into the fact that we're rehearsing the righteous acts, man. All right. And uh, so with that being said, I looked up the definition of rehearse courtesy of Google. And um, it first uh, made me think about this scripture here in Second Timothy 2 and 15. All right. Where the scriptures tell us uh, study to, to show thyself approved unto Yahweh. OK, because when you're studying, that means that you're uh, you're paying attention to all the things that you need to pay attention to. All right. You're studying because. Inevitably, you're going to be put to the test, man. All right? Because people are uh, typically, when you're in school or whatever it may be, you're studying because that test is going to come. All right? And then the scriptures say, study to show thyself approved until Yahweh, man. Meaning that the Lord is looking for some type of uh, approval, man, within us, man. All right? So it's not a light thing, man. A lot of our people are, are walking around. Thinking, uh, uh, um, oh, the Lord accept me as I am. But the scriptures are saying study to, sh to show yourself approved. Meaning that hey, the Lord has a, a certain things that he's going to be looking for, man. Things that he's going to approve and he's not going to approve, man. It's as simple as that. All right. Now it says study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth. That I'm off, man. Rightfully dividing this word of truth, man. Not being ashamed, man. Not being ashamed on the highways and byways. Not being ashamed when we got our garments on. Not being ashamed to tell uh, Esau that he's the damn devil and he's going into captivity. All right, and, and inevitably he's going to get uh, uh, get cut off. He's going to be uh, put out of his misery. Not ashamed to tell the heathens that they're going to be uh, 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 slaves and paying tribute. Not ashamed to tell the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to come out of the ways of the world, man. All right? Because a lot of people look at uh, uh, us, beginning with our apostles and our elders, as if we're uh, crazy, man. All right? As if we're um, uh, uh, nutcases, so to speak, man. All right? But, but, but we are crazy for the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? And we're nutcases for the truth, man, if they want to be technical about it. All right? But you can't you one thing you can't say is that we're not uh lovers of this goddamn world, man. All right, because we know by now, hey, the scriptures tell us in James 4 and 4, if you're a lover of the world, then you're an enemy of the of the most high. All right. Now going back to this second Timothy 2 and 15, it says, Study to show thyself approved until Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth. Okay? Now, real quick, let's see what study says in the uh, blue letter. Let's see what it says or what, what it goes into. Uh, to exhort oneself, endeavor, give diligence. All right. So when you're studying, you're giving you're giving diligence, man. All right. 
we're going to tie it all in with uh, Judges 5 and 11 where it says about rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Because one thing about studying, like once again, that test is going to come. You're not studying just to study in vain. You're studying because uh, uh, it, it's going to come a test and that you're going to have to put what you've learned uh, to the test, man. All right? That's why it says the, the, the study to show thyself approved until you howl, man. All right? And we know by now when you come to serve the Lord, you got to prepare yourself, man. You got to have your mind ready to go, man. You got to be locked in. All right? Now, let's see what uh, the root where it leads us to. It says, um, earnest, diligence, earnest in accomplishing, prompting, or striving after anything to give all diligence, interested, interest oneself most earnestly. All right? So, then it says business, carefulness, diligence, uh, forwardness. All right, but it says business, man. So study to show ourselves approved in our father's business, man. All right? Because Yahweh Shai, hey, 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 Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the, the scriptures say, hey, we got to be fervent in this business, man. All right? So we got to be studying and going back to the scriptures say, rightfully dividing the words of, 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 the, of the truth, man. All right? You can't just be up here freestyling, making things up, adding and taking away. No, you have to rightfully divide the words of Yahweh by Shimei Habashai, man. All right? You got to know what you're going into. You got to know what you're talking about, man. And that takes place when you're studying, man. All right? Because you still have people erring, not knowing not knowing the, the image of the Lord, man. All right? Not knowing who their damn enemy is, man. Not knowing the small things such as uh, uh, pagan holidays, man. Abominable foods, man. All right, this is the importance of studying, man, because guess what? The Lord is not approval is not approving of all meats, uh, all things that people eat, man. All right, certain uh, food we're not supposed to be eating. The Lord is not approving and is not approval of of celebrating pagan holidays, man. All right, the Lord is not down with any of that shit, man. The Lord said, "Woe to your your, your feast days, man." All right, we're supposed to be in the house of mourning, man. All right, but meanwhile, you got our people in the house of mirth, man. All right, all these uh, uh, distractions going on, and, and, and most of our people aren't in the mind frame of studying, aren't in the mind frame of seeking the Lord 10 times more. All right, now let's get, um, because this is not going to be, this is going to be straight to the point uh, video. Let's get to Judges 5 and 11, because I want to touch basis on the fact that rehearse, man. All right, and I have the definition for that as well, too courtesy of uh google but let's get judges real quick judges 5 should like judges 5 and 11 and it reads it says they that are delivered from the noise of of archers in the place of drawing waters and a that that go that's going into what the noise of the archers is going into what those uh thermonuclear missiles is going to hit this place man america shalaki that's going to hit america in the places of drawing water. That's America, man. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And is that not what the uh, beginning of our apostles and our elders and sincere brothers are doing? We're rehearsing the righteous acts of the Heavenly Father, man. We, we, we're rehearsing the statute laws and commandments that was given into our forefathers, man. The Lord has stirred up our pure minds and put us back into re in remembrance. And so now we're rehearsing those acts, man. Because guess what? When we were in the world, we were doing all type of uh, uh, wicked, uh, wicked ass deeds, man. All right, we were doing a whole lot of mimicking things that we see our people do, and things that the world deems as, uh, oh, this is cool, and this is what everybody else is doing. But guess what? Going back into when we studied, and, and our eyes seen our teachers, and we studied, and we realized that hey, that's going off in the eyes of the heavenly Father, man. That's not going to be acceptable. The Lord is not going to approve that. So this is why we had to uh, uh, be in the mind frame, once again, in, in, in this place where the drawing waters is, man, about rehearsing the righteous acts, man. All right, now let's, let's pause for a minute. Let's get this definition. Um, Because they didn't give me a real solid one in uh, blue letter. We can uh take a, a double take right quick, though. Let's take a double take, but I still have it on um on uh, uh, Google. Let's see what it says. Judges. 5 and 11 Let's see what they say as far as for um blue letter be acting so crazy sometimes schlocky brothers and sisters my lord yeah it's not gonna 
I don't know why. Oh, okay, there it is. Barakatai Abashima Oshai. All right, let's see what it says for um, rehearse. See what it says for rehearse. Recount, rehearse, tell again. All right, to celebrate, commemorate, lament, rehearse. Identical with through the idea of attributing honor. Okay. Uh, recount, rehearse. All right. But um, it's just pretty much saying rehearse. Let's get uh, Google real quick. You know, let's get Google. Now it says uh, rehearse. It means practice a piece, a play, piece of music or other work for later public performance. Woo woo. Hey, so this is why we're rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Because we believe we believe and we know hey, that that fathership is going to come and Yahweh Shai is going to crack that sky. Hey, and and Abarathazah, man, we have our um when the Lord says in um Zechariah 13, 8 and 9, the, the, the part that he's gonna bring through the fire, beginning with the 144,000 and the one third, man. Hey, the Lord said he's gonna call on their name, right? And he said, uh it says uh Shlaki, it says uh, uh, we're going to call his name and he, and he will hear them and he will say this is I am their power this is my people all right so this is uh, the benefit of rehearsing because you got to know the steps you got to know no different from it if you have a um like like how they gave an example if you got a, a, a music or you have a, a, a play you have to rehearse the lines you have to re rehearse the music because inevitably that play is going to come and you're going to have to perform man all right, going back into as we started up with study to show thyself approved, man. All right, in order to be approved, you, it means you have to be accepted. So this is why we're rehearsing the, the righteous acts, man. All right, now it says uh, supervise uh, a performer group that is practicing for a later performance. Mentally prepare or recite word, words one intends to say. A state. Of being many times enumerate, uh, let's see, regain, re again, uh, synonyms for rehearse is practice, practice, exercise, repeat, refine, run over, drill, perfect, and a the word perfect, man, perfect is that not what uh, we're looking to, um, the, the B man, we're looking to be found blameless, man, and we're looking to be found. That hoping that the Lord sees us as, as perfect, man. All right, because the Lord is going to uh, put His inward, uh, His His put 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 that inward in us, pursuing the um, Jeremiah thirty one and thirty one and uh, uh, Hebrews eight and eight. The Lord is going to put the statute laws and commandments in our inward parts, where we're not going to ever go off again, man. All right, we're going to be made perfect. All right, but while we're in these goddamn uh, chains of darkness, these, 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 the foul ass bodies, man, to the best of our abilities, man, we have to rehearse the righteous acts, man. All right. We have to be in the mind frame of studying, man. All right. The, to, to show ourselves approved, man, and not be ashamed of this gospel, man, not be ashamed of this ministry, man. All right. Because at the end of the day, man, for all you niggas that's on this, uh, uh, fence straddling and are ashamed of this gospel, the scriptures speak about, Hey, if you if you are ashamed of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and he will be ashamed of you, when it, and, and um, roughly paraphrasing, in in front of his father, he, the Lord said he would deny you and be like, yo, I never knew you, man. All right, now let's finish this off, and as I said, that'll be that. It's just straight to the point. This is Judges five and eleven. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of drawing water, places of drawing waters. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of the villages of Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down into the gates. All right. But the point that I wanted to get was the fact that they were in, in the place of drawing waters here in America, because pretty much we're surrounded by America, surrounded by water on, on every side. All right. North America, the North country is surrounded by water on every side. All right. But this is where uh, 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 a vast majority of the of the uh, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the, the Israelites are, man. All right, and, it, and guess what we're doing, man? The ones that are uh, through the Spirit, who the Lord has uh, given the vision to see, 
all right, the true seers and, and who the Lord has, uh, who, who, who the Lord has uh, gave that breath to and opened our eyes up. We're in the spirit of rehearsing the righteous acts, man, coming back to our statute laws and commandments. All right. So as I said, this was a very short, quick video, straight to the point. Abarat's eyes been good edification and good nourishment to the house of David. So I would like to close by saying, call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka HaKadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Until the next time, I do say, shalom.